In this video, we'll be looking at adding and subtracting with standard form. So here is an example, and this is the most basic kind of example. So you can see here that both of the tens have the same power. Now that is crucial for this. When you have the same power, all you have to do is simply add the front numbers and you will have your answer. So 4.2 plus 3.1 makes 7.3, and then the power will stay exactly the same. So this is your final answer, 7.3 times 10 to the 3. If you have a subtract sign in here rather than an add, then all you would do is you subtract the two numbers rather than add them. This doesn't change at all. What happens if we have different powers then? So here we have 10 to the 5 and 10 to the 3. As I said before, we have to have both the powers to be the same. Now it doesn't matter how you do this, we could make the 10 to the 3 go upwards to 10 to the 5, or we could make them both 10 to the power of 3 instead. I tend to find that bringing the powers down is a lot easier, and you'll see why in a minute. So in this case, we're going to bring this 10 to the 5 down to 10 to the 3. Okay, so if we write the rest of this out here, 2.1 times 10 to the 3, now, the way you have to look at it is this is one number. So if you change the right-hand component, which is circled in red here, then you also have to change the 6.2, the left-hand component. Like I said before, this 10 to the power of 3 or 10 to the power of 5 means that you have times by 10 that number of times. By making the 5 become 3, that is ultimately dividing by 100 or 10 squared. Now that means on the other side, to balance out the number, we must times by 100 on the 6.2. Now this will make it 620 times 10 to the power of 3. And just like that, we have both the powers exactly the same. So again, because we have a subtract here, we can simply subtract the two numbers. So that will leave us with 617.9 times 10 to the 3. Now, if you haven't seen my video on standard form previously, I recommend you go watch that first. But in that video, I spoke about the general form for standard form, and it is a times 10 to the n. Our n can be any number, in this case it is the 3. However, the a must be between 1 and 9.99, .9, or less than 10. How do we manipulate this 670.9 so that it is between that range? Now, a lot of you saw in the last video, is we often put our decimal point in here between after the first number and before the second number. Now to get that in this case, we would have to divide the number by 100 or move it two places. So if we have to divide this one by 100, again, just like we did before up here, we would have to multiply this side by 100 to balance it out. So our final result we would have 6.179 times 10. And originally this number is 10 to the 3, but timing by 100 will shift that two places up, so it will become 10 to the 5, and that is our final answer. Thank you for watching, and I hope that helped.